Hi, everybody. We're going to look at the claw hammer stroke for old time banjo. Just the basic bum ditty is what they call it. Bum ditty, because that's how it sounds. Um, the rhythm is. So if you feel the beat, like a steady beat, just on the second one, divide it into two, do two, so. Bum, diddy, bum, diddy. All right, so maybe you're thinking, what is she talking about? <laughs> Sounds like this. <laughs> It's a building block for playing tunes. It's your rhythm and then the tunes, which you can learn with me one little step at a time, or maybe you can figure it out. Here's a tune uh, with a bum ditty in it. <laughs> Let's see. Um, have to do the bum ditty all the time but uh, it does kind of get things going so let's break it down one step at a time so first let's talk about the claw <laughs> you take your hand and put it in a C a C for claw hammer and your nails are gonna be going down you actually hit the string with either your pointer nail or your middle nail. You don't have to do too much. You can hold your C and just knock it. So try to hit one string only. The easiest one is the first string. Now, in a minute, we're going to use our thumb, so you might as well get used to having your thumb on that fifth string, because that's what he mostly does, or she, he or she mostly does. So I, when I hit it, I already have my thumb resting on the fifth, and I let gravity pull down. Loose wrist, not really using my fingers, just like, uh, uh, like knock it. So that's the bum. That's a single note. You can use any of the notes. Oops, let me see if I can get one. So practice just hitting one string at a time. So that's the first step. Your note, the bum, Diddy is strum with the back of the nail. So you hit it, you go back and strum them. Uh, students will say all of them. I'd say either three, two, one or four, three, two, one. Fifth is probably overkill. Okay, so we've hit the note, strum them and then pluck that fifth string with your thumb. So note, strum, strum fifth. So I'm not having any hands down up there. The open strings, I'll do it again. Note, strum fifth. And I'm holding my claw, keeping it pretty solid. 
not rigid, Ugh, but yeah. Here, here, here are a few of them. All right. I hope it's going well for you. Let's try changing strings. So I'm gonna try to pick them out for each note. So starting on the first, ready, go. That's good practice. Let's do four each of each string. So starting on the first, Ready, go. One, two, three, four. Switch to the next one. And the G. One more to the fourth string. learning this bum ditty when I was a teenager and being frustrated because it just never sounded right for a long time. It sounded really stilted and not musical. And I think it took me about three weeks before it started sounding like, you know, a song. So be patient with yourselves uh, and don't stop practicing because that's what'll loosen it all up. Now, let's try some bum ditties. Play whatever strings you want. I'm going to do it a little faster so that it gets some momentum behind it. Uh, one, two, ready, go. <laughs> love the sound of a banjo so I hope the people that are around you while you're practicing love it as much as I do all right that's the basic bum ditty the next step would be to learn chord shapes for the G tuning and that'll make practicing the bum ditty a little more interesting